Hey folks, Machine Repeat here at the 2020 Commodity Classic down in San Antonio, having a great time at day one. And we are visiting with our friends at Valley Irrigation, a very innovative company. And this is uh, Trevor Meekum. Now, Trevor, your title with Valley is? A VP of Technology and Strategy. Wow, so you're kind of right at the crux of the right innovation. All the innovation right there. Very exciting place to be in, in, in Valley as a, part of our, uh, as a part of our whole team and everything that we're doing here at Valley. Well, uh, I noticed uh, this morning when we posted that we were going to be out here visiting with you guys, Trevor, uh, that uh, one of the commenters on Twitter said, I love my, my, my Valley Pivots. I've had them for years. They're awesome. You guys have a great reputation in the company, obviously. But uh, you guys have a lot going on, new innovation here. Why don't you walk us through some of the things top of the list right now? Absolutely. Happy to do that on that side. So, yeah, we're very excited of a lot of the innovation that we've got going on not just on the pivot with the pivot but also a lot of the things that you've seen in the ag tech world that we're really trying to adopt with different partnerships as a part of that as well mm -hmm. um, so really what you have is behind me is we're talking about different innovative intelligent and connected ways that we can put a valley pivot out there right as i've described before in in in, uh, in some conversations we really want to take technology and and uh, use it and Put it on a pivot with a purpose, right? So that we have real applications that create those efficiencies and the productivity that we're actually really looking for as a part of those growers uh, and what they're looking for as, as well today. One of those things that we can talk a little bit about is um, Valley Insights. Is something mm -hmm. recently with our partnership with Prospera um, does great, great job in data and analytics as a part of it. And so, really, what we've done with that this past year and what we're bringing into it this year is uh, that we've launched is being able to do anomaly detection. So having the ability to actually take a look at the pivot, see if there's overwatering or underwatering issues or perhaps any broken sprinklers is a part of that. Sure. Uh, what's nice really about that is the fact that when you get into different levels of growing seasons, it's, uh, it's kind of hard to see those things, right? right. And most people generally aren't walking out in 13 foot tall corn, oh, walking, no. a, walking a pivot on that side. So we wanted to bring something very easy to the market, it's easy to use, something very simple, right? And that's what we're really looking at as a part of Valley it. Valley Insights. One of those things with Valley Insights. Anomaly detection. Anomaly detection. Being okay. able to start doing that and also getting to a point of where we can start predicting those insights. So a lot of the information and data you look at today is very reactive. And what I mean by that is something's already happened and so you're trying to make sure that you're preventing a catastrophic event or something that's already bro broke down. Right. To us, where we see great insights with, with Valley Insights is being able to start doing things that are more in a predictive state. Okay. And that's where we look to try and drive that so we can make sure that we are getting the most out of the out of the iron that we have as a part of it and creating really intelligent iron. Intelligent iron. Of that. Absolutely. I know we visited a little bit and that seems to be a theme with Valley here. Uh, now, am I right that there's actually a new release coming up here next there week? Is. Absolutely right. Yes, Valley 365 is our newest software platform that we're actually releasing. Uh, that'll be in next week or March uh, as a part of that. And what we really uh, are doing with that, and I'm happy to take you on a yeah. tour if you would like. That's lo I would love it. Okay. Uh, it's really starting to take a lot of what you see out there in terms of growers who are having getting this technology. They're adopting it, yep. but they have to go into these disparate systems, right? right. So, a lot of usernames and passwords are kind of hard to remember often at times as a part of that. And we wanted to make sure that we tried to simplify that equation ourselves uh, with our, a lot of our products. Now I know simplicity, simplicity is big with you. Absolutely. Uh, and simple is always hard to do, as I say, yes. right? And so that's what we want to create because if you can't make it simple, it can get lost in translation. Right. And really what we want to be able to do is create that environment for the grower, specifically around our core of irrigation. And what I mean by that is okay. really coming and taking a look at the latest of what we've launched in an app in a platform called Valley 365. Valley 365. And we got Tim here. Tim's going to drive Howdy. the bus for us. Uh, appreciate your help. So walk us through here. Absolutely. So looking at Valley 365 as a great example is everything that you need to do to what we would define as connected crop management. Okay. Right, And so when we stick, look at the different ways of irrigation, whether you're using soil sensor technology, you're doing tank monitoring, um, you're using, a lot of times people are using aerial weather stations, we want to be able to take a lot of that information that's already being utilized for the grower 
and put it into one single location, which really is what this is designed before, designed for, okay. is a single sign-on that allows them to easily get that information right at their fingertips anywhere they want at any time. Be on a beach in Mexico. Absolutely. Hopefully so. Something. Hopefully that means they've got some bumper crops and, yes. and they're able to sit back and, and view it from there, right? Right. So, okay, so walk us through here a little bit. Absolutely. So if we look at this from really remote management as we were discussing, this is where we can do that monitor and control of all those machines. And that and and then also uh, working from any kind of smartphone, PC, we are agnostic to that. So iOS, Android, uh, laptops is a part of it. Uh, and additionally, um, go down here, taking a look at how we also put pumping solutions. So we also want to make sure that we're gaining a lot of the efficiencies across the farm with our variable rate drive, with our variable, uh, um, with our, our pump integrated pump solutions as well, so that we can have greater control over that. Because obviously, water usage um, and the sustainability pieces that are really driving the industry right now, we need to be very cognizant of. And so this is a also be on a tool part of us kind of doing our part right. and trying to create more efficiencies and how we're actually utilizing this water to grow crops as well um, a scheduling platform as you've seen that Tim has pulled up right here this is really to get those recommendations and understanding that information of when where and how much do I really need to be able to apply which is imperative, right? right. Um, if I've come from the days and myself in agriculture of having this very large red draft book that often was a manual process as a part of that. And now, it's so, it's so amazing to see the digitization that's actually happened with this type of sensor technology giving me that kind of forecast that Trevor, I'm looking you're for. Trevor, just on a personal note, you actually yeah. grew up in Idaho on a potato farm? I did. Said? I grew up on 4,000 acres of potatoes. And, uh, Describe so your early irrigation experience. My early irrigation experience was unfortunately not with pivots, <laughs> but hand lines. So that's a lot of pipe to move on, right. on 4,000 acres, right? right? And a lot of this was walking the fields in a very manual process, writing down that moisture content, taking it back, graphing it out, and a lot of it was just really hoping, right. right? And we know that hope sometimes isn't the greatest strategy, right? which is why I think this is where technology has really helped drive the efficiencies, the productivity, and the decision-making into right. something much more powerful, and hopefully reducing a lot of the inputs and that cost to the farmer, because it's farmers are some of the biggest gamblers on the face of the earth, right? Yeah, and we have to only have so many decisions we can make in that season as a part of it. Right. We really need to have a lot of reliance on our agronomists and all the other stakeholders that are a part of that farming operation. And hopefully, we can do this with the irrigation and the applications that we're providing today. Now, would I be right, Trevor, to say, I mean, in this day and age we live with, I mean, it is, we have data overload. Yes. But this effort, I mean, you're trying to really make it simpler for growers to quickly find kind of the key bits of information that can make all the difference on their farm. Would that be accurate? Absolutely, Pete. You know, the biggest thing here, is, and you've started, you, you've hit on a very good point, is when you look at the data and the amount of data that's actually out there, right, and look at the evolution of what the precision ag industry has offered in each segment, right. we see a lot of that data and how it gets applied. Earlier years, if you have to kind of look at the history to understand where you really need to go, right. part of that has really been to say, okay, I have this unsurmountable amount of data. What do I really do with it, do, right? Yeah. So beyond organizing that data and making a pretty map or, right, or getting a bunch of numbers, as a grower, I want to be able to say, no, I, I just need to know with that data, what is it going to tell me to do? I'll tell out if it's right or wrong but help me make a decision on how much, where, and how I should apply that data in right. that, right? right? So, and like you were saying before, I mean, farmers know their operation like nobody else, but confirming what's happening out there, what's really happening, is kind of key to almost free you up to make the decisions that need to be made. It really is, and for us as manufacturers, right, and partnering with Right Technology Partners, we have to keep the producer first. The grower has to be first in mind in building this type of in, in this type of technology. And when you're looking at that from the data aspect and creating intelligence around that with insight to say, I'm going to give you the answer. I also need to give them the choice to tell me if that answer is correct or not. 
and ultimately give them something actionable to do with that answer. And that's how we look at this type of data and technology so that it actually there is something that goes on to make a decision that affects that operation. Right. Now talk a little bit about uh, Valley's connection with AgSense. Yeah, so AgSense has been a long time partner. We just uh, finished up uh, the acquisition of AgSense, which really provided monitoring control and um, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the things that you've seen and how the pivots get automated and moves right. as it exists today. Uh, we've we've been partners since for the last five years or so, and really just kind of took off. It's, and they were going out to growers themselves as a part of the uh, industry and sure. really trying to gain traction into the market. And seeing what a lot of our growers and dealers have started to see, it just kind of made sense as a part of that. And so we just finished uh, that acquisition at the end of this year. So it is fully now a part of the Valley 365 family and uh, very excited to be able to continue to offer and build on the on the applications. And Tim, hop in here now. You were with AgSense, correct? Correct. So I was a, uh, an employee of AgSense and came over with the uh, acquisition of, uh, of AgSense from Belmont. And uh, it's been a great partnership. It's been great for us to have that dealer network uh, support us. And uh, so we're really excited about the future. And now you're a territory manager? Correct. I'm a territory manager, live up north of Amarillo, Texas, and cover Texas, Oklahoma, New Mexico, and uh, part of Kansas. What's your, uh, what's your sense on this? Uh, on the Valley 365, uh, the reaction you're going to get out there? I think the grower is going to be really excited to have a single log-on platform where they can see the monitor and control, they can see uh, an, an analytics and, and are able to go make decisions instead of being overloaded with data, they have a, the data points in front of them, they can make a decision and move forward and save time and money. How about dealers? they got to be excited too, I imagine. Dealers are really excited that they're not going to be having an onslaught of stuff coming yeah. in from various other suppliers. Sure. So it's a it's a great partnership for those guys as well. And Trevor, that takes me back to something, again, that I, I, I said before that's big with you is simplicity. Yes, right? Simplicity. I mean, simple is key as a, as a part of that. Growing up in the ag industry, working at dealerships as well, Right, understanding all three sides of the table for us is a part of it. Is it's just really crucial in how we choose innovation and how we really want to build on that piece. Uh, because you know, ag is a relational piece, and and you have to really be able to associate yourself and really, right, mirror what their true needs are. Because farmers have a lot of scar tissue over technology, right? Especially when you adopt that precision ag, and they want to know that you know they can have trust. Sure. in a lot of what that is for adoption and so I think that's where it's really important that we create by simple design a lot of these technologies and applications and software that become more of a tangible opportunity in saving those inputs, saving those costs, right, right? and getting more production out of it. Right. Well that's exciting stuff from our friends at Valley here and now guys if folks want more information on Valley 365 where should they go uh, to learn more? Well, you can uh, go right on the website to Valley and see exactly under our technology piece, Valley 365. You'll see the list of all of our innovations that are that are set right there. Of course, you know uh, we're here at Commodity Classic. Yep. It's a great day. Come on out. We're happy to talk and show uh, show more about our innovation, and uh, very excited to be a part of it. Well, guys, thank you for the walkthrough on Valley 365. Uh, more innovation from a great company with a great reputation. And Tim and Trevor, thanks for giving us the scoop. Thank you. Thank you. Your next piece of equipment is on MachineryPete.com. Search equipment from dealerships across the country to find what you're looking for. Only on MachineryPete.com.